it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is Friday, so you know what that means? Crafting for Disney. Now, I'm excited about this one because if you do or do not know, we are leaving for Disney in seven days, yay, next Friday, but when we booked our trip, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge was not supposed to open till late fall. So, probably around the end of November, middle of December, before it was supposed to open. Well, Disney decided to surprise us all and open it early, so they opened the land on August the 29th. So, we're going to be hitting it up, so we need a Star Wars shirt. So what you're gonna need for today's tutorial is your file, which if you're a $4 or more a month Patreon supporter, which it is linked down in the description box, you get this file and all the previous files for free. You're also gonna need your shirts, which I am using the Heather Gray from Bell & Canvas. These are the unisex tanks. Your Teflon sheet. Your Easy Weed and Wooden Pick. Your scissors your t-shirt guide, which I am using the Tessie heat press today, and so it's 15 inches, so I have a 15 inch guide. And you're gonna need your vinyl, which I am using the specialty materials. Deco, a film, a soft metallic in black. The heat press is preheated to 305 degrees, and your first press is five to seven seconds, and then you repress for three to four. Now, Give me a moment and I will show you how to put this together. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to my Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com backslash Betsy Gocher. You're going to click on the post tab up at the top, and then you're going to scroll down till you see the Star Wars for personal use only. Because these files are copyrighted, you cannot use them for anything other than yourself or family. So I'm going to select the I Love You, I Know file, click on that red link, and then we're going to click Save. Now I'm going to go down here to Corel to our Cricut Design Space, select Upload. I'm going to go to Upload Image, Browse. Scroll up to the top and go to my downloads folder. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the I love you, I know file and select open. It's thinking. Maybe. Okay, we're going to try that again. I don't know what happened. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom, select the I love you, I know file and select open. Okay, let's go back. Now let's try that again. Upload image, browse, scroll down to I love you, I know, open. There we go. So as you can see, there's the file. We're going to go ahead and click save, select it, click insert image, now, one thing about it is, as you can see, it has a red heart. I only want to make this one color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this file. And there is the Princess Leia sign. You know, that's the famous line that she says, I love you. And he says, I know, which was an accident, but they kept it in. And we're going to select Will. Okie dokie. But we do want to change that back to black since everything is going to be in black. There we go, which that's how you change your colors. Now I'm going to select the I know part and click well. So now we have our two files. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on make it. And we're going to change the size of this vinyl to 12 by 19. Okay, what aren't you doing? 12 by 24. Okay, not sure why it's Cricket's not being nice today, so. So I'm going to move that a little bit closer and I'm gonna go ahead and mirror the design. As you can see, I'm not sure why it wouldn't put it on there to begin with. 
I'm good. Now I'm going to go ahead and select continue. So I want you to know that, yes, sometimes because it is a computer, like an internet-based program, it can have some issues. Okay, we're going to choose everyday iron on, and I'm going to send it to cut. Now give me a moment, and I'll show you how to put the whole thing together. Okay, so I'm still trying to work on getting the angle correct. Okay, so I'm still trying to work on getting the angle correct for y'all to see what I'm doing um, for this. But it's a work in progress. Let me know what you think of this. Okay, now I'm going to lay my shirt on. I'm starting with my husband's. This is a medium. Pulling the edge of the neck off. And then I take my hands and feel on both sides to make sure the amount of fabric is even on both sides of the press. Now I'm going to grab his, lay my t-shirt guide on here. There we go. Fold our design in half with the letters or the sticky side of the HTV towards me. Lay that on there. And what I'm doing is I'm just lining up the I know the bottom of the letters. Let's see if I can zoom you in. With the bottom of the t-shirt guide. Let's see if that works a little bit better. So now I'm going to cover Hold on to the handle on the tussie and press for the five to seven seconds. There we go. This rolly cart is not the best thing to have your heat press on because it wants to move. But I'm hoping that I can get, let's see, maybe if I do it a little bit more like that. I don't know. But it is nice that it rolls because maybe I can adjust to, to let you see what I'm doing. Okay, you wait for it to cool. There we go. Throw that away. Take my Teflon sheet, cover it back up, and now we're going to press for three to four seconds. There we go. Move the Teflon sheet out of the way, and look how good that looks. Okay, so we'll set that one to the side. And one thing I was going to let y'all know is I am going to start doing the giveaways on the Disney shirts again, or the Disney items, because we are going to incorporate that into Craftsmas, because I want to do some Disney crafts as well. But I'm not going to do it till we get back from vacation, but you will get a chance to win different Disney items or fandom based items. So I have my shirt, which says I know, which this one's pretty easy to lay out because to find center since she's got the Leia buns. There we go. Right there. And my Jesus, my nose. Cover again with the Teflon sheet and press for five to seven seconds. But we have a lot of stuff planned and my cup turners coming in from Amazon. I also have the Cricut Mini Press. I have several cool things coming in that I'm going to do a haul over once everything gets there, just to let you know. Okay, let this cool. Now you want to let this kind of vinyl, the Deco Film Soft Metallic Cool, if you pull it up when it's hot, 
it will like distress on you it doesn't it's really weird because it's such a thin material see if you kind of look how it's got a little bit of lifting on those edges which is fine because I'm fixing to reheat it down and yes it does last through washes just so you know now we're going to heat it again for the three to four seconds There we go. And see, that vinyl's not going anywhere. Now give me a moment and I'll show you the finished project. So look how cute and simple these shirts turned out. They're absolutely adorable and they'll be nice and cool to wear at Disney World. So remember, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below and if you hit the notification bell icon next to it that notifies you when I post new videos which is Monday through Friday and on October the 1st Craftsmas starts so we will post a new video every single day now the patreon tutorial for October comes up on Monday so be sure to check that out but I guess that's it don't forget to check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as my second channel if you're interested in finding out how I created this eye look. But I guess that's it, so we'll see you in the next one. Bye!